So, Scooby's Pip, what did you think of Durham? Um, well, so far it's, it's been lovely, but all I've seen is the bridge and loads of people <laughs> are rowing in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bit. Very big and down. Yeah, you, so, you don't really get that in a six. It's, really? not, it's not too common, but it's, very it's a weird surprise. It's a very university kind of thing. There's a it massive is, regatta. It seems every a bit year. Off, it's nice. Yeah. There's a big regatta every year, everyone comes out for it. So. Um, right, um, conquering America, was it important to you or did you not mind whether it was just a British audience? Um, it was important to us just because Money. we started to build, well, no, I mean, we started to build our American fan base at the same time as the UK one, oh, yeah, basically. Like, when I did oh, my limited yeah, yeah. A run of, of No Commercial Breaks, I sent a load out to America as well, so that early on, because of MySpace and YouTube, it, yeah, it had the, it, so it felt, although obviously our main priority is our UK fan base, it yeah. felt if these guys have been into it from as early on, then they deserve, you know, we wanted to go out there and gig and make sure we get the album released over there and things like that. So it meant a lot in that respect, but more, I said, just on a personal level than on a, a financial level. How was America? Did you like it? It was great. It was amazing. Did you move there? Can you picture yourself living there? Or? There's a lot of parts I really liked out there. I mean, it's just so, so varied. Um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It kind of... If you get out there and see as much of it as we got to, to go through, it kind of dispels the myth of your stereotypical idiot American. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, obviously yeah. there will be that element, but there's also, you know, there's some great people it's out there. Some great lines. Yeah. yeah. Um, following your MySpace series, did you earn enough money selling the album to move to London? Um, I didn't. I didn't earn enough to move to London. Yeah. But I, I there's a room going in my house for eighty pound a week. It's a bit far away. But uh, there's a senile old man. I love it. Nice. It's very funny to stand at the top of the stairs and listen to it. Nice. That <laughs> other than perfect. other than Edward Lear, which poets have influenced you the most? Um, poets. I mean, again, just varying over these are. A Gil Scott Heron, I think, is absolutely fantastic. And then, but but modern people like Sage Francis and Saul Williams and that are absolutely amazing. Um, but then, like going back to Ginsberg and, and people like that, all, all you know, amazing guys. I'm not a big a reader of poetry. Was, the beat, was Alan Ginsberg's beard? It, it, it wasn't an influence. It wasn't. It was, it was more just a, a, a laziness on the shaving front and going on tour <laughs> so often. It was like I don't want to have to shave and things. Do you like have that, any so. tips for an avid beard grower such as myself? Just persistence. Uh, really, just keep it going. I, I use Aussie Leave-In Conditioner. It gives it a real good thickness. It builds it up nicely. Trimming back and growing out again, it, again, it adds to a thickness. It stops it being so wispy as I originally had quite a wispy affair going on. Um, okay, what's next after this? Do you have another album planned with Dan or a Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. No, with Dan, definitely. I mean, we're touring till mid-December, end of December, and then we're going to work on just for the, for the next album. We're, uh, we're writing at the moment, but yeah, that'll be the main time in January. Uh, how's the new album looking up? Written wise? Really, really depressing. As ever, and I mean, I mean, the, coming yeah, back yeah. Or? I mean, the tracks I'm, I'm writing at the moment, the two I've just finished, one's about spousal abuse and one's about heroin addiction. So, what, um, cheery, cheery what subjects. What was the influence for the heroin addiction? One of your much experience with drugs in the past. Uh, Personally, I've never um, used heroin, but I've known people who have, and um, I've kind of researched it. Uh, when I started writing about it, I contacted a few people uh, through MySpace and things like that who who have had these experiences try and, and get their perspective because again if I write about something I don't like to just I write blind if it's not I, I, I don't want to restrict myself to just my own experiences because I live in a small town in Essex you know it's yeah, not yeah. I like to the idea of getting to write about anything but if I'm going to write about a subject that's serious like that I like to research yeah, it and try yeah. and get an actual a genuine account if you always have the feeling you can never be the villain because the villain in the film is always back there yes. where are you in from? Um, I'm lit from the front by a bright light on top of a camera oh. Currently, that, because of the poor lighting of Durham, I heard <laughs> Durham was fantastic for oh, natural lighting, but it's just, in all weathers. It's a letdown, to be honest. But yeah, <laughs> there's um, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had to choose between going on Ma Never Mind the Buzzcocks or QI, which would you choose if you could only have one? That's killer. I want <laughs> QI, but I don't know. I'd feel I feel underqualified for QI to be honest, because because really? Buzzcocks really? is. They have musicians on there. Band band no, but that's it. That's it. And QI is always comedians. It's always people who professionally yeah. are hilarious. Right. Can't think of any because because we were talking about this, this recently. I can't think of any uh, musicians they've really had on. Mm. Always just been professional comedians, so and I feel really 
Do you class yourself well. as a hip hop um, musician? Well, musician, or spoken, or spoken word artist. Uh, again, a spoken word artist. I mean, yeah. Hopefully, the two aren't, aren't mutually exclusive. Hopefully, yeah, they yeah, can yeah. kind of a, a blend together. But I said, because Buscox has that mixture of actors, comedians, yeah. musicians, everything, feel more comfortable on there, I think. But I, I love QI. I, I love, no, I said yeah, it's, uh, it's more because yeah. I love QI too much and I feel I'd bring the standard down slightly. Mm. Really, it's, it's more a love of QI. That's good to hear. It's grounding. <laughs> it is, right? it is, it is. Um, what is the meaning of life according to Scroobius Pip? Um, oh, I don't know. Just it's deep. doing stuff. <laughs> the meaning of life is to do stuff. If you're not doing stuff, <coughs> then there's not a lot of meaning in life. That was gibberish. Don't take, oh, that, as, right. don't take that as prolific or anything. It's you're just words right. that happen to fall out at the time. You're very right. <laughs> um, I was going to ask what are your real names, but just Scroobius Pip, Pip, just Pip, yeah. Mr. Pip. Yeah. I could Mr. say Pip. it's Mr. Pip, yeah. Kevin, Colin, Alan, <laughs> Justin. Colin would be a very Colin's good Colin's a popular one I've heard in Durham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's all then. Does oh, were there any the really good ones on the bit that blew away? Was that average one? Right? <laughs> I don't know what that was. That I was the fodder. Really that, 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 that was the fodder. That could yeah. be really important to <laughs> For being criminal. <laughs> <laughs> um, does Dan Sack's name mean in the bag? Or is it... Where it's, does that come from? It comes from... He used to DJ under the name of DJ Sackboy. Apparently because of some kind of inflamed testicle. But his name is Dan. He then adapted it to Dan Lassac. To, to, mm. to be because Sackboy felt just sounded quite yeah. um, Sackboy featuring Scroobius but yeah, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not as nice so Dan yeah. Lasak he dropped the K off so it sounded just continental yeah. and yeah so it's Dan the bag because if it was Don's Lasak yeah, yes, it would be yeah, in the bag yeah. whereas it's not it's Dan the bag anyway nice meeting you thank you very much it was good fun yeah